Hey guys and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're going to talk about toilet flappers and boy is there a bunch of them. We're going to go over a few of the different styles, the different sizes, the different brands and show you what you may need to fix your toilet. So check out this video coming up next. So here on the table, I'm going to show you a small selection of flappers that we have here in our store and uh, kind of go over them with you. Take a look at this. Look at all those Kohler flappers on the top row. There's seven different Kohler flappers right there and that's not even all of them. Toto, Corky, American Standard. Tank Balls, Aquasource, Glacier Bay, Universal, and I also want to tell you, they're not all Universal. So I guess where we should start is maybe uh, one of the original flappers. It was actually called a Tank Ball. This is a, a lift rod system, and there is a wire that comes straight down screws into the top of this and it had a seat and this would ride straight up and down and that's what seal would seal the toilet and that was a uh, very common uh, system that they had for many many years then after that they kind of came out with some other options um, most typically is the uh, a, fly. a uh, flapper that uh, most of you see and a lot of your toilets these days. This was real common uh, probably in the late 70s through even today. And this is just a basic uh, coast flapper, two inch flapper. That's what some of them call it. It's a nice siliconized rubber, good soft quality here. This one here, it's actually, uh, it's got a little bit more surface area here and this is designed to fit some of those older toilets that took the tank ball but didn't have a place for these ears or hooks for these to slip onto. So this one here actually has a uh, ring here to slide over the overflow tube and that would work up and down and take the place of a lot of these tank balls. So that's a real common one there. And, and all these are three and a half to five gallon flush toilets. Um, some of the old ones even flush seven gallons of water, which is kind of crazy. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've got uh, American Standard went to this actuator, actuator assembly system, and uh, it's a rocker assembly, and this would rock up, the water would drain out of this tube here, and once the water drained out, it would drop back down and seal it. Now you don't have to replace this every time it leaks. Uh, this actually snaps off. You can replace just the rubber gasket. They made it where it snapped off and also screwed on. A couple different options there. They also made it in what they call a high profile and a low profile unit. This is the low profile. This is another uh, flapper made by Fluidmaster. Uh, this is another what they call universal flapper. And I hate the term universal because uh, they don't fit everything. Uh, every toilet's different. But uh, this does fit three and a half gallon toilets made back in the uh, 80s and early 90s. Uh, and it, it does a decent job. Um, let's see. This one here is made by Corky. This is kind of uh, the competitor to that Fluid Master flapper. Um, really common flapper. <clears throat> a lot of the original corkies were made out of a black material and the black material once it went bad it would actually break down and turn your fingers black and, and uh, get all in the, the, the water of the tank and just really make a big mess. So they changed the, uh, the rubber quality, a little bit better quality rubber and um, makes less of a mess. And that, so that's the Corky Plus. <clears throat> this one here is an old unique flapper. Um, has a bucket on the back side and it mounts in the center and when it flushes it pulls the chain up 
rocks up and down. That one fit um, fit some Elgers. Um, did fit an off-brand. Uh, can't quite think of the name of it now. Uh, many years ago, that uh, Elger made it for. But that, that's a very unique flapper. You don't see many of these anymore. Um, they even make toilets uh, to take two flappers. This contraption here fits the American Standard Vormax flapper or Vormax toilet. And what it does, it, it lifts them up uh, at different times. So the first one pulls up to flush the waste. The second one comes up later to rinse the bowl, to keep it clean. So that's their, their system on there. That's the American Standard Vormax flapper system. Um, sometimes you've heard uh, people talk about Toto. Toto being the best flushing toilet around. Uh, they do have a large three inch flapper assembly. Uh, they make multiple models. Um, this one here is the uh, G Max, I think, flapper. And they make, um, they've recently come out with this one here, and they call this their Toto Genuine Universal. So it's supposed to fit all these models. But like I said, it is a genuine Toto product. So I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't think it's a bad idea to use this one, uh, being that it's a universal. However, uh, because it is made by Toto itself, uh, it has some adjustments on it where you can set it to change the flow of water. Kohler. Kohler makes a lot of toilets. And um, they're all different. All the flappers are different. Uh, this one has a very large bubble. It's not really a flat surface with a small bubble like a lot of your other ones are kind of like like these this one actually has an entire half circle on it um, that's the Kohler GP 49114 um, kind of reminds me of the uh, Starship Enterprise on Star Trek kind of a unique looking flapper it also has uh, most of your flappers the ears sit upward this is one of the only ones I've ever seen they actually face down. If you notice, they come downward where it fits the flush valve. Um, fits a lot of the Wellworth models. Uh, the High Line, some of the older High Lines. If you can read that, uh, there's a picture on the back of a lot of the toilets that it fits. This one here is a Kohler, a uh, very common Kohler uh, flapper in your one piece toilets. One of the, the low like the San Rafael and the Rialto, uh, very common for that. Uh, there is no bubble on the bottom side. There's actually a piece of uh, styrofoam uh, that's up inside of it to help it float. And it's got a little bit wider throat here where it mounts to the uh, flush valve. Most of the flush valves were square uh, for the overflow. That's the uh, GP83064. And that fits these models. This one here I call the shark fin. Uh, mainly because it's a uh, flapper and it's got kind of like a little shark fin off the top of it. And uh, this is the GP1078440. Fits a uh, some of the one-piece toilets and uh, a couple two-pieces, uh, the Santa Rosa, the Memoirs, uh, San Rafael, the Devonshire, uh, the Revival. It says on the back kind of some of the, the toilets and the models and what they look like. This one here is a very unique one. Okay, This is the GP84995. This one actually has a strap. The original one had a red rubber strap across the back. Now they've replaced it with a black plastic piece. And what it does, it snaps in to the back side of the flush valve. And this does fit the, uh, the one-piece toilets as well. Rialto, Rialto, Rosaria, Revival, and San Rafael. Um, if you look at the bottom of this side, it shows where it has tracks 
that you can adjust where it mounts on the back side. It's kind of awkward installing it, but uh, that's really the only flapper that will fit it. This one here was a very common flapper. Um, the GP85160. When this flapper originally came out, it was plastic. It looked uh, similar to this. This is actually an American Standard. Fits their two and a half inch flush valves. Um, it's kind of a unique look to that as well. Real wide ears here. This one used to be plastic and then they went to a, um, a rubber. And uh, very similar to the Coast. A little bit different size and it has a um, float on it. And what the float does is when the, the, the toilet lifts or the flapper lifts up, um, the float keeps it elevated so it doesn't drop down too quick. Um, and this fits the, uh, the Highline, the, the Wellworth, uh, Couture, the Portrait, the uh, Pinuar, and the, is it Layton? And the Memoirs, and the Devonshire. Fits a lot of different ones. And it, like I say, it all depends on when they were made. You know, because some of the, the newer models still call the same ones, like the Highline has gone to a three inch flapper. This one here, this fits one toilet and one toilet, toilet only. This fits the Kohler uh, Portrait. This one actually, it's kind of a, got a scalloped look to it, a really old timey look, and it's got a metal handle in the top of the tank that you lift up and down and that's how you flush it. Um, it may look very similar to this one, which is a very popular flapper now. Um, this fits a lot of the Cimarron, uh, Devonshire, a lot of these uh, large flapper uh, flush valve toilets. And if you look, just looking at them right off, they look about the same. But if you compare where they mount, look at the width difference up here. This one's much wider than this one, so they won't interchange. So this one's the GP1060740, and that's going to fit that portrait toilet only. Like so, this one's the GP1078441. This is a very common class five flush valve, and um, this virtually fit almost every Kohler toilet that they've built that you can buy in the box stores. I'd say from 2008 to 2014, approximately. Uh, this fits a whole lot of those. They have since then gone to a canister style flush valve. And um, I think I've got one of those around here. Let me check. Here it is, let's see. This is kind of what they've gone to now with, with Kohler. Uh, they've gotten rid of uh, the flapper in most of their toilets and gone with this uh, lift system. Um, and it prevents hang up. Sometimes the flappers will lift up and get hung by the chain and water will just keep running and running. This one actually just drops right back down. So, and this one's easy. You just change the, the gasket on the bottom. And I got those as well. Looks like this, the GP1059291. And uh, Mansfield. Mansfield makes a uh, like a piston style flush valve. The Mansfield 210 and 211 flush valves, that has a gasket on the bottom as well. And they've, they've changed over. Actually, they've done this style for a very long time. Last but not least, this one here is probably one of the most popular flappers I sell these days. This actually fits a lot of your aqua source and glacier bay toilets. Okay. It's this blue soft flapper, three inch flapper. Uh, this will fade a little bit after time and then also kind of curl up and start leaking on you. But I sell quite a bit of these these days. Uh, fits a lot of your, your newer toilets, fits some of the Elgers. Uh, that they made the Titan series so this is a really common one uh, fits some of the Gerbers I had this on the website and I have a link in the description below for this um, 
Aquasource and Glacier Bay flapper. So make sure you check that out. Well guys, uh, that's most of them I've got here. Um, there's many more. So if you have any questions about it, send me an email, info at plumbingpartspro.com and maybe send me a picture of your toilet. Maybe send me the model number. Any information you can give me, I can try to help you find the exact one that uh, you need and we can uh, stop that leak for that toilet you have. Guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Um, we're doing a giveaway soon for a Delta IQ faucet that works with Alexa. So make sure you stay tuned for that video and uh, we're actually gonna give that faucet away. So um, make sure you're a subscriber. Thanks a lot guys for watching. You guys have a great day.